In this video, I want to show you how to install Linux Ubuntu on VMware Workstation or VMware Player on your Windows 10 machine. This can be achieved by four easy steps. The first step is to download and install VMware Player or VMware Workstation if you don't already have it on your Windows 10 machine. The second step is to download the ISO file of the Ubuntu distribution from ubuntu.com. Third step is to create the virtual machine and install Ubuntu. And the fourth step is to do some small configurations on the Ubuntu machine, like changing the root password, adjusting the display settings, and updating Ubuntu. So let's start first by installing VMware Player from VMware.com. So open your web browser. Go to VMware.com. Hover over Downloads and choose Free Product Downloads. On the right, you have Workstation Player. Click on it. And here I have Windows 10 running, so I'm going to be downloading the Workstation Player for Windows 10. Click on Download Now. And the download will begin. It's a short download, so it should be fast. When the download finishes, go to the folder where the file was downloaded. And here you see the file that is downloaded. Double click on it to install it. So follow the instruction to install it. Click on Next. Accept the agreement. Click on Next. So here I'm going to select Enhanced Keyboard Driver. This option will force us to restart after installation. It's not a big deal. We wanted to check for updates. I don't want to join the VMware customer community. And I want to create two shortcuts. Click on Next. And now it will be installed. Once the installation finishes, just click on Finish. Forget about license because we are going to use the player version, so we don't need the license. Just click on Finish. And now you'll be prompted to restart. So you need to restart your computer for the changes to take effect. So click on Yes. After you install VMware Player from VMware.com, you have to download the Ubuntu ISO file. To do this, open your web browser. Go to Ubuntu.com. Hover over Downloads, click on it, and here we need to download Ubuntu Desktop. The latest version is highlighted. Click on it, and you see here that the download started. It's not a very big download. It's 2.6 GB, so depending on your internet speed, it might take between 10 and maybe 30 minutes. Just wait for it to download. After the Ubuntu download finishes, open VMware Player or VMware Workstation, depending on the license you have. Here I have VMware Player, which is a free version of VMware Workstation. Click Create a new virtual machine, and choose I will install the operating system later. Click on Next. Choose Linux here. And on the version, even though Ubuntu is selected, you need to select Ubuntu 64-bit because this is the ISO that we downloaded. Click Next. And here, feel free to change the virtual machine name or the location. I'm going to keep them by default. Click Next. The maximum disk. So my advice to you is to give it at least 40 gigabytes in case you want to install like packages or create maybe new files. And I always like to select Store Virtual Disk as a single file. So select this option and click Next. For the hardware, I'm going to show you a little bit, but we don't need to customize it here. Anyways, click on Customize Hardware and see if you have less than 4 GB memory and your system allows it. So in case your physical host has more than 4 GB memory, let's say 8 GB, it's good to give the virtual machine 4 gigabyte memory. Here I have 16 gigabytes, so 4 gigabyte is very good. 
processors, we don't need more than two. And for the rest, network adapter, it is by default not. If it is not, choose not so that you can have access to the internet. And then here, simply click close and click finish. The virtual machine will be created. When it is created here, click on virtual settings. And for the CD, DVD, you have to choose the ISO file that you downloaded earlier. So select it and click on Browse. Go to the Downloads folder or to the folder where you downloaded the ISO. Here it is Downloads folder for me. Select it, click Open, and then click OK. And now all we have to do is to play the virtual machine. So click on Play Virtual Machine. And the installation of Ubuntu should start. As you see here, it is launching Ubuntu. So click inside it to get the control. And wait for it. So as you heard, the sound works correctly. I will not be clicking on Try Ubuntu. This is a live version if you want to try it. I'm going to click on Install Ubuntu. Here on the left, you have the languages that you can change. I'm going to keep it on English and click on Install Ubuntu. And then here, this is a keyboard layout. English US, English US. I'm going to keep it as default. If you have another keyboard layout, of course, it's very important to choose the correct keyboard layout. Click Continue. And then here, it will ask you, you want normal installation or minimal installation. And it will ask you also if you would like the install to download the updates while installing. So I'm going to keep both by default, normal installation and download updates. So I'm going to click on Continue. And on this page, it will ask me about the installation type. It detected that my computer, which is a virtual machine, doesn't have an operating system, which is true. We just created the virtual disk. So it will give me the option to erase the disk and install Ubuntu, which I want to do, or something else. So I'm going to keep it by default, erase disk and install Ubuntu. Click on Install Now. And of course, click on Continue so that the installation begins. It is asking me here for my time zone. I am in Montreal, so I'll be selecting the Eastern time zone. So you can simply here key in Montreal. So when you key in Montreal, select the correct one. It is Montreal, Quebec. So I just selected it. Click Continue. On this screen, it will ask you for your information. So I'm going to put here simply knowledge sharing tag, your computer's name, KST virtual machine. See that Ubuntu detected directly that we are working on a virtual machine. So it populated virtual machine by itself. A username KST is good. Password, I'm going to put a password. Of course, put your own password. And require my password to log in. I don't want it to log in automatically. Click Continue. And the setup will begin as you see. It is installing the system now. And the installation is completed. It took about three minutes. I have an SSD. If you have a conventional hard disk, it may take longer. It all depends on the speed of your machine. So I'm going to click restart now. It will restart. It is asking me to remove the installation medium. So in VMware Workstation, to get the control of the mouse, press Ctrl Alt on the left side of your keyboard. And now I have control of the mouse. I'm going to eject the installation medium. Click on Player, Removable Devices, CD Data. So it is ejected as we see. So we don't have to eject it. Just press on Enter, and Ubuntu is starting. Click on your username and put the password. 
So it's logging in now and it is logged in. I'm not gonna connect my online accounts now. You can do this if you want to. I'm gonna click on skip. So I'm gonna also click on skip on these. I don't wanna send any system info, so click on no. Click next. Location services also, I don't want to enable it. And you're ready to go, done. Upon first start, you may receive a software updater. So feel free to update at this time or to maybe install it later. I'm gonna choose remind me later here. And it's important at this step to change the root password. So you should open the terminal window. There are many ways to open it. I'm just gonna press on my keyboard, Control Alt T and the terminal window will open as you see. Let me clear it first. And here you need to key in sudo password root and hit enter. Put the password for your account. And here you can put the password for root. I'm gonna put a strong password for root. Retype it and press enter. And as you see, the password updated successfully. Let me close the terminal window now. After changing the root password, as you see here, the Ubuntu virtual machine is displaying a small display so you can change the display settings by right-clicking the desktop and choosing display settings. And here under resolution, you can change the resolution to whatever you want. Of course, keep a resolution that is smaller than your actual host resolution. So I'm gonna choose here, for instance, something 16 over nine. I have a full HD resolution, so I'm gonna choose something a little bit smaller. So this is smaller than 1920 times 1080, but it's also 16.9. So I'm gonna choose it and click apply and just choose keep changes. And as you see, the resolution adapted quickly. The last configuration step that we need to do is to update the installation. So click on the applications on the bottom left and here click on software update and wait for it so it will get the updates. So it's telling me here that it needs updating. So I'm gonna click on install now and it is updating. You can click on details if you want to see the detail of the updating. Wait for it to finish of course. And when the update finishes, it will give you this message. Just click on OK. And now you have an updated installation of Ubuntu. So that was it. If you think this video might help others, please share it, subscribe to my channel, and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.